Hello and welcome to another segment of Design Make Play Show. My name is Aryan. I'm the designer at Zen Maker Lab. And today we're gonna teach you guys how to use some graphic tools using Boxy SVG. So have your computer ready and let's get started. So we're gonna start off with opening up our browser and typing Boxy SVG on our browser and open up the program. So for this lesson, I'm gonna introduce you guys to some tools that usually graphic designer use. The interesting thing about this program is as it's browser based, but it's a vector based too. So you can create really amazing graphic design using this program. So let's jump onto it. I'm just gonna type in box CSVG. And when you open up the program, you're gonna see something like this. You can create an account. We already have an account. You go down and you press one of these ones, live demo ones. And it's gonna open up. When you open it up, you can select the whole thing, delete the one that they already made. And I'm gonna start off by introducing guys to some of the tools. So on the left hand side, you can see there's a transform tool, edit tool, pan tool, quad bezier, cubic bezier, and all the list is gonna go on. On the right hand side, you can see it says fill, stroke, composite, and typography. So this sort of stuff is on the right hand side. I'm gonna start off with this. drawing a circle and try to color it. So I'm just gonna draw a circle and use a move tool. And put it in the middle. As you can see, if I click on my object, these four, these eight squares gonna appear around it. So that means that I'm selecting my object. If I click one more time, I can rotate my object or I can deform my object. If I want to color my object, I'm just going to click on it and then go on type, solid color, and then I can change the color of it by moving my gradient in here. Just going to zoom out my thing. Beautiful. So you can change the color. There's different type of changing color. You can do linear gradient so that it goes from one color to another color. You can click on this one. Make it from going from yellow to purple. Like that. So if I click on edit tool, click on this one, I can change the color of the my second color. I can click on the first one, change the first one. If you click on the stroke tool, you can change, you can create stroke. So the first one on the right hand side, it says none. So on the left, left one says solid color. I'm gonna click on the solid color, make it black. Pan. So pan is like you can move your pencil, you can move your paper. So paper. You squash your thing, you can rotate it. Next thing is how can we add shapes and divide shapes from it. So I'm gonna grab a rectangle, go like this. I wanna make my circle and a half. So I'm going to click on my circle first and then hold shift and click on my rectangle and then go on shape and press subtract. See what happened? I have a half circle now. So that's how I created my half circle. So if I go and click on the sphere, I mean the circle and then click on the rectangle, hold shift and press the rectangle and then go shape and 
unite different things gonna happen it's gonna unite the shape now I can go on edit and edit my shape This program is actually really close to really professional programs like Adobe Illustrator or Crawl Draw. All these programs they use for making graphic design. But this is a good starting point for you guys that like to do illustration and graphic design. So what I want to do, I want to create a different version of Pokeball. Green version of Pokeball. So I'm just going to click on the circle that I have and then I click on the rectangle and then go shape and subtract now I have half a circle I'm gonna hold control and press D to copy my shape I'm gonna rotate it bring it down and there we go I have a half circle at the bottom so I'm gonna make the bottom one white I'm gonna go on fill make the bottom one white I'm gonna make the top one Greenish or purplish. I'm gonna go with purple actually. One of the important things in the graphic design is layers. So if you go on the right hand side, you can see that it says objects. You click on it, you can see it says two path. And then you can create, if you create another circle, you can see this appears in here too. So if I put the circle in the middle and put it all the way go to the back, Move it to the back, move it to the top. That goes away because it's going to go on the behind layer. So I'm going to bring it in forward. It's the front layer. I'm going to put a stroke in it. There we go. Make it black. Make the fill white. And I'm going to hold shift. Make it smaller. Control D and then make it black. And there we go. So now I made my Pokeball. I use the edit tool. I combine shape as I said in the elements of art, how you can combine shapes and create new shapes. I change the color. I use layers. Layers is one of the most important things in graphic design and in overall in like when you're doing some uh, media work. It's really important to know about the layers because uh, you can access the layers whenever you want. If you want to delete some layer, if something is extra, you can get rid of it. So it's good to have some idea about layers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this design segment. We covered some of the tools in graphic design world. We talked about layers. We talked about unite, subtract, how to use the move tool, how to color stuff and some basic stuff in graphic design world. My name is Aryan. I'm the designer at Zen Maker Lab. Have a good day and take care.